They are not here to make peace. Niger Delta leaders demand withdrawals of soldiers in Okwama. The Okwama community, situated in Ugeli South Local Government's area of Delta State, is currently experiencing a crisis that has drawn the attention of stakeholders and authorities throughout the Niger Delta region. The terrible deaths of 17 military members set off the unrest and a quick military response led to a siege of the community and mass relocation. A wide range of voices, including activists, clergy, former security guards and traditional rulers, have joined forces to call on the federal government to act decisively in response to the rising tensions. Wing Commander P.Y. Biapara, a retired Air Force com- officer, voiced his dismay at the state of affairs, stressing the need to follow the rules of engagement and admonishing against the reckless use of force. Biapara stated, I am a military man and there are rules of engagement. Things start from the police and it is only when the situation goes beyond the police that the army is rarely called upon. If there is any small issue, one person will run to the army checkpoint and soldiers will go there. Nonsense. That means our army has nothing to do. I am not happy about what happened at the Okoma and I sympathize with the family of the lost heroes as well as innocent civilian lives lost in this issue. I am not happy about the whole thing. The government should be well advised that they should not use the military in this very wrong way. They are using the military very, very carelessly. The military is not to, is not made to make peace, and even if they try make peace, they will kill people to make that peace. HMR Shadrach Peremubowe Erebulu Adu the third, the Pere of Kab of Kabowe Kingdom in Patani local government area, reiterated the view and urged the military to use caution in the operations so as not to injure innocent citizens. He issued a warning against taking any acts that would heighten tensions and spark more violence, but he also underlined the significance of conducting a thorough investigation to find and capture the offenders. The traditional ruler articulated, To the military, I urge them to employ their tactics in investigating and finishing out these persons, I know the military has a way they go about things. Their intelligence in doing that, they let them be aware of, let them be wary of attacking or hurting innocent persons because at times like this, you may not know the perpetrators. If the innocent persons are affected, it turns the whole ball around, so they should not cause more problems in the communities, he added. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to turn on notifications so you can be notified when we upload daily content here on this channel. Now, let's see what other people have to say about this. They should tell us who gave them a distress call that eventually led to their death. Boko Haram has been killing Boko Haram has been killing Nigeria military men quite long ago, but they can't be defeated yet. They just suddenly killed military men in Delta State. And that's why they are all facing that little community and tormenting innocent people. This war now God take control. He build, it's like these blood sucking demons have taken over the matter. You traditional ruler. Simply tell your subjects to cooperate with the Nigerian army in assisting to expose these killers instead of hiding them among you. Military intel has shown the location of these killers and the soldiers have said it that they will not leave the community until their aim and objective is achieved. So stop this propaganda of soldiers hurting and killing your people. Well, these people have all given their opinions on this. Make sure to leave your own opinions in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and make sure to turn on notifications so you can be notified when we upload daily content.